Yo, I did not realize that today is actually Pi Day and I'm doing videos about everything else, right? So I went down a list of like pizza places I actually like versus the ones that I don't. And um, th there's some that I looked at on a map and I was like, wait, how do these states actually like this pizza, right? I'm going to show y'all because I'm a little bit conflicted on why y'all even like these pizzas, but the majority actually like Little Caesars. It's so you can see in this map, right? So... Pretty much all of y'all like Little Caesars. I've only had Little Caesars one time in my entire life, and it was not good. I actually got sick eating, and this was over a decade ago. So the fact that y'all even, like, all y'all <laughs> like Little Caesars pizza is crazy to me. But if we move on the other side, I feel like a weatherman. But, like, some people like Papa John's on the West Coast. Some of y'all, um, y'all got decent taste. Domino's is divided, and I'm starting to understand why y'all really don't like Domino's pizza, because... I have an issue of what I ordered versus what I expected. I'm explaining in a second. So here's the grip. When you look at the pepperoni pizza, you look at the sausage or ground beef, depending on who you are, then pizzas look good, right? You'd be like, dang, like I really want Domino's. You the type just like me, right? When you go and you get a Domino's commercial that comes on the TV, you see all the cheese, the gooeyness, you like, yeah, I want that, right? And then they got the wings. Wings never look like that, by the way. I don't know who they think they fooling, it always come in an aluminum foil. The chicken already like dried up by the time you got there. The Pepsi is usually the best thing on the menu that shows up and even then it's cold, but that's a story for another day. They try to do like, uh, you know, what's the joint called? Papa John's with the garlic and the ranch. Shout out to them, they grew up. And then you got, that's how it will look like on your like plate. That's how it's gonna look. I don't eat the, what's the name? The cinnamon rolls, whatever the hell that is. But I'm gonna show you what happens after you eat it. This is usually what it actually looks like when it arrives or the day after if you try to microwave it. Don't microwave it. Just put it in a toaster, be an adult, right? So your pizza box is probably going to look like this. Whole bunch of grease at the bottom. Not a lot of cheese on the pizza, by the way. And then you're going to have over, you know, stuffed toppings when it comes to like the pepperoni. It don't match. Like the palate don't even catch it, right? But what issues that I have is the curling of the pizza when you actually put it in a toast or anything like that. Only pizza I've ever had that the pizza actually curls up. I've never understood it. It's only, only Domino's, right? Let's talk about another one now. I'm going to just use a really quick Google search because none of my Papa John's pizzas have ever looked like that either. None of them. None of them. I think even when I was ordering the Shack pizzas, I was like, all right, cool. Maybe it's because it's got Shack on the box. It would look good. Nah, not at all, right? But I will say it does taste better than Domino's. Never had Little Caesar, so we can go ahead and just cut that out. One of my favorite pizzas, and somebody can be like, Greg, like you crazy as hell to like that pizza, but I'll tell you. Lido's Pizza. Now, somebody will be like, Greg, like, I hate the sauce, I hate the price. Trust me, I do too, but it tastes good. And compared to all the other ones, nah, like, you may have a good local pizza shop, or you have to go to New York or Detroit or Chicago to get real pizza, like an actual human being, but I don't have the luxury of flying out and flying back for a slice of pizza, right? So I have what I can have locally. Lido's Pizza. The only issue I personally have recently is they changed their sauce, so it's got this, like, tangy type of taste to it, and tomato ain't supposed to have tang. It ain't supposed to have, like, twang on it, right? But square pizzas, for me, like, it's different when you have people come over. It's like, cool, you get your one or two slices, maybe three, and then you go back and you realize the box is halfway empty. So you ain't gonna fuck around and just eat the entire box, right? Compared to if you have Domino's, right? Somebody will go back and it'll be two slices of pizza. They'll get one, look at the other half, and try to give it to either their spouse, or they'll go back and hope that it's, gone, you know, it's not gone. That's why I don't really like Domino's either. When it comes to Papa John's, somebody always takes the garlic and uses the entire thing. I hate that. But... With Lito's Pizza, I just feel like they, they're smart about it. You got a square pizza, keyword there, square pizza, and then you have, like, a pepperoni on each slice. You have a piece of ground beef on each slice, you know. They, they keep it to one topping per slice, which, again, is good enough for the palate, right? The price, though. Lito's, if you're listening, let me just tell you this. Um, a small pizza with nine slices, when I say nine, nine squares, and uh, when I say squares, like, they're about the size of this right they about the size of this maybe about like three-fourths of the way should not cost 11 12 dollars i don't care what you say when it comes to inflation this is egregious bro and that's my favorite word of the week i've said it six times in these videos this week and we're gonna keep doing it until sunday but it is egregious at the fact <laughs> that y'all are going and charging people 11 12 13 dollars and then you i think it's like a dollar and 19 cent per topping cut this shit out yo then it's pie day <laughs> you know what y'all sent me let me show you. For Pi Day, you're giving us $3.14 off any order over $15. But you'll be like, all right, that's a good deal. Ain't nothing at Lido's less than $15. So, again, 
Why are you playing with me? Cut this shit out. But then notice this, the fine print here. You got to have the Lido's reward account, right? Then you have to add the items over $15 before tax. I went and I ordered that pizza that I was telling you about, like three topping, small pizza, whatever. Came up to $13.99 before everything, right? With the gratuity and all that other stuff. Ended up being maybe like $18, $19, right? And you're like, all right, cool. For a small pizza, no. Again, with the $3.14, it came up to $15. Maybe a little bit more. And mind you, they don't deliver. I got to get in the whip and go get it. <laughs> but you can order online now. They haven't figured out how to pay the delivery drivers or get a delivery service with Grubhub and all those other companies. They haven't figured out how to just deliver. Lido's would be at the top of the top if they would do that. And I think it's because they've opened more stores than they needed to. When they had that one shop that was over there in she was it Chevrolet, like anybody who lives in the DMV area knows where the hell Lido's is, right? Although you the original Lido's, right across the street from where the big Toys R Us used to be before they closed that too. Yeah, so the fact that they doing this is crazy. And since we're on the topic, let me just move this out the way. Yeah, I guess what I'm attempting to say is I don't know what's going on with pizza on pie, you know, on pie day. Happy pie day to all of y'all. But yeah, Domino stopped the five for fives, like, you know, five dollars for each thing. Then they went to seven dollars. I, I even let them go up two dollars and act like it ain't happened, even though it happened. Right. When it come to Papa John's, like one pizza should not be twenty three dollars and ninety nine cent at all. Y'all are making it easier to go to the grocery store and pick up, you know, DiGiorno or something like that. To be completely honest, it actually tastes better, but that's a story for another day, too. Lido's, y'all need to get delivery, bro. Y'all been in the company for over 30 years, because I'm 37, and I know y'all been out since before me. And the fact that y'all don't have delivery yet, especially through a whole ass pandemic, y'all need to figure that out in the worst way. Um, Little Caesars, I don't even have anything bad to say about y'all, because I just won't eat it. So if y'all eat it, be my guest. But ultimately, what are some pizzas that y'all mess with? The people who live in New York, I understand this is not a topic for y'all. I know how touchy y'all get about y'all pizza, you know, whatever slices you like, the jumbo slices, mini slice, how many toppings, it should just be cheese, whatever. Like, y'all can sit this one out and just watch us hate the fact that we don't have as much options as you do. Seriously. But, you know, Chicago, I love Chicago. I love Detroit. I love deep dish pizza, but that's a story for another day. But let me know in the comments, like, what are the, out of the national brands, right, which one is your favorite? Which one do you mess with? Um, again, I'm just make it crystal clear. Little Caesars is not on my list, but they can change it. I'll, I'll tag them on here. Shout out to Little Caesars. Hopefully they can change my opinion on it because the one time I had it, I did not enjoy it. And for anybody who's asking why I didn't mention Pizza Hut, it's because I don't know of a Pizza Hut that's open whenever I drive past it. It always looks closed. Always. So <laughs> there's that. Um, on, on top of the fact that... Damn, there's only, now that I think about it, there's not that many Pizza Huts left. So maybe I should try them. Either way, happy pie day to you and yours. Happy 314. If you were eating pizza tonight and, you know, you're on a health kick, just veg out for a day. Get a nice cheese pizza. If you're vegan, uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs>